Well, how is everyone doing? Well, good old. Yeah, there's a new game on the Atari VCS. AOGA Trio, you know. Now, it's made by uh, uh, an indie, indie dev called um, Tukasaf 3, and this is his latest game. So, it's a, comp- it's, 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 it's a compilation of three games, like, you know. And uh, it costs for, uh, $5.99 uh, on the Atari VCS Star, you know. And uh, here it is, you know. Um, and uh, you, 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 you can use the Atari VCS joystick or the controller. And um, yeah, so it's it a treat by so, uh, AOEGA Trio, uh, made by uh, Tuka Soft. Uh, now, this is the same indie dev that made Pedro. Now, Pedro is a is a game he made uh, for the Atari VCS. So this is three games in one, and they're pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, it, so, I'll, I'll, I'll just read the description. A three-game a three game compilation uh, comprising the fast action rides, the, pla- the platformer puzzler Pedro Origin, prequel to the previously released Pedro Crystal Caves, and the strategic head scratcher Toil Wars, you know. So yeah, my opinion now uh, pretty awesome. I'm gonna go to the games. Uh out of all three of the games, Roids is my favourite, and it's made by um uh, Unity and stuff. So yeah, I mean now Roids uh you y- you play as a square with a face there, you know. And uh, you just have to avoid everything, you know. Um, there's like um, there's health power ups and uh, that that square thing there you get it, it kills that and that, that uh, approaches to you you know so yeah yeah this game has easy uh, medium or insane you know so it's a, it's a pretty cool game in my opinion and uh, that's me there in the middle uh, you, you just got to avoid everything coming at you you know and uh and yeah, so that thing there kills everything on the screen, and uh, it's a pretty cool in my opinion. And uh, now that's the health power up, you know. Um, uh, now uh, you have to avoid the walls as well because because the walls can cause damage, you know. Uh, so it's all about time, you know. How how far how how long can you stay alive for, you know? And it's pretty awesome in my opinion, you know. And uh, yeah, see, uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And uh, that there is the um, so a, a basic game, but still full in my opinion now. Um, and um, pretty cool. And this is the, the easy uh, uh, difficulty. And uh, that there is the health power up, health, you know. Uh, so pretty, pretty, pretty awesome in my opinion, you know. Um, so this game is called Roids uh, again, you know. Um, out of the three games on this, this is my fa- this is my favourite, you know. It's easier to play, it's easier, easy to understand. Toil Wars is is is, is based on reversey. Now I don't fully understand how to play reversey, but uh, for anyone who does, then you you will like um, Toil Wars. And Padre, it's all about you know changing the colour of the squares to red and stuff like this. So that one is more straightforward as well, like you know. Uh, that thing there kills everything that comes out, you know. Yeah, so yeah, pretty cool moving. So six minutes is 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 the longest time um, so far, you know. Uh, uh, before this, I got five minutes, you know. And this is the easy difficulty, and it's cool the way the square has facial expressions. If he gets hit by things or whatever, you know, he looks angry, he looks pissed off, afraid, and stuff like this. Yeah, so like I said, basic, but it's fun, like, you know. It's fun. Gameplay all the graphics, so so that's pretty awesome. And that thing there, uh, you just stay there and yeah. Yeah, so my, in my opinion, uh, five ninety nine. Uh, yeah, um, you know, it's awesome that the the Atari VCS is getting uh, all these in, indie dev games and, and just more to come, people. You know, uh, just uh, hundred and sixty two games now on the um, on the Atari VCS star and. Uh, you know. Yeah. 
it's pretty awesome. And uh, just, uh, we're gonna quit, you know. And um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you the other games. This is Toil Wars. Uh, it's based on the classic game of Racy. Uh, and you know, you, you can unlock uh, different avatars and bars to test your skill, either solo or against a friend. You know, so pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna play this game. Wait, so um the blue tools and the CPU is the red tools, you know? So uh Oh yeah, so bar barred one is the easiest, you know. So that's the one right. So um the blue, you know. And uh then the the, the, the uh, computer goes, you know. The, the, the my opinions on this game, you know, it's pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, 599, you know, I can't go wrong, man, you know, in my opinion. Now, again, I don't fully understand how, how, um, reverse works, but, you know, there you go, man, you know. So that's, um, a quick look at, um, uh, AOGA Trio on the Atari VCS. Again, my boy, um, uh, uh, Tuka Soft. So yeah, I mean, I hope everyone has a good day. Uh, you now the Atari VCS is awesome. Uh, you know, more games are are, 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 are going to come out on it, and it's, it's pretty awesome. So so the gameplay uh, uh, over graphics with this game, in my opinion. And like I said, three games in one. So yeah, pretty pretty cool, in my opinion. You know, um, I'm I'm going to write the game. You know, because uh, I do like it. So I'm going to give them yeah five stars. You know. So yeah, uh, so yeah, 162 games, you know, uh, you had uh, AOGA Trio, Asteroids to look 7800, Lula Lana Beyond, Asteroid v uh Tanks But Now, Tanks, Toy Cross, Black and Sack with 7800, all awesome indie dev games, well, except for Lula Lander, which is the Atari game, and Asteroids to look 7800 is, um, I believe that's a homebrew game, you know. Uh, by Atari, Asteroid v Claw, that's um, Metcon Games game, Tanks But No Tanks is a uh, Seth Sale Games, Toy Cross is, is um, Seth Sale Games, and Black and Sockham 7800, that's uh, the Mark of John Hancock, so pretty awesome in my opinion, uh, so yeah, that's it, I can't think of anything else to say, uh, you know, uh, in my opinion, you know, uh, you should definitely check out the games on the Atari VCS Starman, you know, it's worth it. The, the games are cheap and they're they're good. They're, they're good fun, in my opinion. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, as soon as something new happens with the Atari VCS, I'll make a video on it. But it's getting better all the time. Uh, you know, and Atari will support it. You know, this year and next year. So you know, and we're gonna see my awesome indie dev games. Uh, Unsung Warriors, uh, The Spirit of Samurai, uh, Polly Gunner. Uh, these are all indie dev games. Uh, you know, uh, we have Yars Rising from Atari, you know, so pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And uh, the Xbox, Cl Xbox Cloud Gaming and CM Arcade adds to the value, like, you know. And then, like, if, if, if I want to emulate old school Super Nintendo games or Sega Mega Drive games or whatever, we'll just go to Chrome. So, yeah, I mean, you just won't get bored with the Atari VCS. Um, Cash Cow DX is awesome. Space Deal 7800. So, like, awesome games, in my opinion, on the Atari VCS. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I can't take that as I said. Like I said, um, if something new happens with the Atari VCS, I'll make a video on it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we're seeing more and more games on the Atari VCS. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a failure and it's not going anywhere. Um, you know, uh, so, yeah, um, pretty awesome. Um, pretty awesome. So that's it. I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, uh, have a good day, everybody. And you know, uh, like I said, in my opinion, you should definitely check out the games on the Atari VCS. They're cheap, they're fun, and yeah, like you got nothing to lose, like you know. So that's it. Uh, I hope everyone has a good day. Take care, all the best, boy, boy.